In this video I'm going to show you guys how to make a ship in Minecraft at a 45 degree angle and this one has the sail plan of a schooner. Now if you guys are new to the channel at all, we're here to help you build bigger and better. So if that's something you're interested in, make sure to hit that subscribe button. This tutorial is layer by layer, so I'm going to be stepping you through every single block place throughout the tutorial. In terms of the dimensions on this one, it is 20 blocks long, 19 wide, and 23 blocks high. But of course, because it's on an angle, it's a little bit strange with the old dimensions. If you're building this one underneath the water, you are going to be two blocks underneath your water layer. What that means is you've got a block right next to your water, and then you're going to have one right here. This will be your layer number one. So here we are on my flat tutorial world. Again, if you want to make yourself a box, it's 20 long by 19 wide. Materials that you guys are going to need, some sort of block, just use a guide block. I used yellow terracotta for that. We're going to need smooth quartz slab, white concrete, and also spruce planks. If you do build a box, what we're going to be from right here, and we're going to be starting with the back part of this, is if you place a block directly on top of the box, we're then going to leave one diagonal and leave one diagonal. This is going to be our starting block. From here, we're going to go forwards with a spruce plank. That spruce plank is, of course, going to be our rudder. Switch over to your smooth quartz slab. We're going to put an upper slab either side of that, just like that there. Then what we're going to do with your white concrete is we're going to have that right here. And then with your smooth quartz slab again, we're going to have one coming forwards from that. Then we're going to have a total of seven of those. So we're going to have another six diagonal slabs. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five, six like that. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five, six. In total, though, it's seven. If you count the one that we had already placed at the beginning, let's do the same on the other side. So what we're going to do. Again, from here, diagonal with your white concrete block. Then we're going to have one going out. And you'll start to notice this. It does take a little bit of while to get used to the center line, but that is your center line going across here. So then you can kind of see it. So feel free to plonk that in if it does help. Now, six slabs. One, two, three, four, five, and six. And now from here, we're going to move inwards with your white concrete. So have one block either side, just moving your way inwards. Have one right in the middle of all of those. And then right on the end, you're going to have a slab either side of that. So that's what you end up getting. So there is a nice picture for you guys. If you want to need to pause it. Now, before we're finished, fill this all up with white concrete. And that's it for this layer. On to layer number two now. Come to the front with your white concrete block. And we're going to be just in front of these two. So you're just moving it forwards from the start point there. Then what we're going to do is on each of the sides of this, we're going to have a slab. Then we're going to switch over to a smooth court stairs. This is a new block. So have that upside down there and upside down there, just like that. Now what we're going to do with our white concrete block is we're going to be diagonal from that stair. So diagonal right to there. Then have another block. Then what we're going to do is we're going to have seven slabs off of this one. So one, two, three, four, five, six and seven like that. So it's just going to be out and forwards of each of the slabs that we had on the last layer. Let's do the same on the other side now quickly. So we're going to have that white concrete on the side there, another white concrete block. Come out with this one and we're going to have a total of seven slabs. So one, two, three, four, five, six and seven, just like that. Now with your white concrete again, we're going to move in towards the rudder. So have a white concrete block just on each of those ones there like that. And in fact, with this one, we're going to have an extra one as well. So we're actually going to go back quite a bit to close that gap. Then with the rudder, build it up again with your spruce plank. We can now get rid of these guide blocks because we don't need them anymore. But what you are going to need, though, is a new block, which is going to be a spruce slab. We're going to have that sticking out of either side of your rudder there like that. And then with your white um, smooth quartz slab, we're going to have that either side of the end part like that. Okay, so just a slab there and a slab there. And what you'll notice is we've got some gaps. So let's fill these up with white concrete just to stop the water from coming in. And then what we're going to do is grab yet another block that's going to be a stripped oak wood from the back first. What we're going to do is we're going to go one, two, and that's on the third one. That is where we're going to be placing in the mast. This will just be the mast that are building up here. From the front, what we're going to do is go one and two. And that's where we're going to have the next mast. Now, as a quick note, because we've got these masts going all the way through the ship, um, you won't be able to get into like the cabin. So if you do want to actually use this one, 
uh, practically. It's also the same with the front. Then do take out the masked parts of it or mask, you know, hide them, mask them in some way. For layer number three, we're going to have a slight mix up of our materials. So grab yourself a smooth quartz slab, white concrete, some sort of colored block. We've got yellow terracotta over there. I've got orange on this one that I'm going to be building today. Uh, we've also got stripped oak wood, crimson slab, and also smooth sandstone slab as well. Then with your white concrete block, we're going to have these on top of each of these slabs right here with an upper smooth quartz slab in the middle at the front there, just pushing forwards. With your coloured block, in this case, orange terracotta for me or yellow over there, we're going to have that just behind it like this. Then we're going to have a one, two, and five diagonals. One, two, three, four, five. Then we're going to have a two and a two here like that. So one, two, one, two, three, four, five, two, two like that. Right at the back now, this will depend on what colour you've gone for. This is just a little slab, and I'll show you on here. So for the yellow one, I ended up using a smooth sandstone slab. But for my one, I'm actually going to use a cut redstone slab instead, because it's closer to the colour that I'm going for. Also on the back now, grab yourself your crimson slab. This is just going to be for the kind of details. You can mix this up as well. And um, we're going to have just two slabs on the side of those blocks right at the back there like that. Now last thing is just to build up your mass like that and we're done. Layer number four, grab your colored block. So for me it's my orange terracotta. What we're going to do is we're going to have that directly on top of the last layer. One, two, three, two and three. So either side of that. Then a one, two, one, two, three, four, five, two, one. Leave a gap. Now that's going to be a nice little window. Then we're going to have a box there. there. Okay, so not a box, a block. But there we go. Fill that on the other side as well. So it's pretty much all exactly the same. It's just all building on top of the last layers. Now we're going to need to grab some sort of uh, stained glass. I used grey stained glass for mine and I used a pane. And you can put that in as your windows on the back there. Then to kind of add in some details, I used a warp to trap door. So you can put that down there as well. With your crimson slab now, right at the back here where we've got the back block, we're going to have that on the lower part of it. Just moving up like that. Then coming forwards, we're going to have a lower, then an upper just off the side of that. So a lower and then an upper on that block. Now also grab yourself a warped fence. And I had a warped fence right on the side here. And also one here right on the side of the window, but not either side of it. Okay, so you can kind of see it there. We've got some that we'll be putting on the next level. At the front, what we're going to do is with that warped fence again, we're going to have that in the middle of this three. So add that on the side there. And on the side there like that. Grab your crimson slab once again. We're going to have that upper here and then upper here as well, just on the sides. So right here, upper there, and moving backwards with one as well, just like that. Now build up your mast. So we're going to have that built up by one. Now for the deck, I used birch wood on mine. Feel free to use the same if you want to, or another one, whatever you guys want to do. If we start with the front, we're going to have that on either side of this bit here like that but we're not going to do this two by two here. Then just go around the sides of it. Just working your way around like that and do the same on the other side. There we go like that. So you should have four blocks right in the middle and that's going to be where we're going to have that access to the hold. On the backmost mass now towards the kind of cabin, what we're going to do is just have two on the side here and we're just going to make that go across diagonal. So one, two, three to there. But that's it for layer number four. For layer number five, we're going to have another block mix up. So again, you're going to need your colored block, in my case, orange terracotta, also crimson slab, warped fence, smooth quartz slab, smooth quartz stair, composter, birch slab, grindstone, and also oak trapdoor. So there we go. That will get you started. On the front, what you're going to do is we're going to have one directly on top of the last layer right at the front and one either side of that. So a little triangle that we're going to make in here. Now with your smooth quartz stair, we're going to have one normal on the side here. It's going in like that. And then there's going to be an upside down one on top of this block here. Okay. So upside down there facing inwards. That's where things get a little bit weird with a whole uh, uh, different angles. Then with your birch slab, we're going to have that going around here on the lower. Then one upper like that. Continuing with the front now, what we're going to do is we're going to grab our warped fence yet again. And we're going to have that right on the side of this block right here on either side like that. With your crimson slab, we're going to have one on top of the fence that we had on the side here. 
So right there, one right there. So that's the last layer. Then what we're going to do is from this fence, we're going to go out to the side like this. And then finally, we're going to have a lower slab right in the middle of those two like that. Okay, so it's just kind of going all the way across like that. We've got this fence in there. Now switch over to your smooth quartz slab. We're going to have two right here. And then we're going to have five directly on top. One, two, three, four, five. Same here. One, two, one, two, three, four, and five, just like that. With your smooth court stair, what you're going to do is you're going to be facing outwards on this kind of like two run here and have an upside down stair there like that. Then we're going to have a normal stair. So a normal stair there and then an upside down stair just like that. With your coloured block, in my case orange terracotta, we're going to have this directly over the top of the cabin and just go all the way over like that. Now what we're going to do is with your birch slab, we're going to have just three slabs in here. So we're going to have one there, one at the back, and one coming forwards like that. And then the rest of these are just going to be the kind of like upper slabs there. So another three just to finish off that top part. Then with your crimson slab, once again, what we're going to do is we're going to have one on top of the fence you got here, and then one over on the upper above that window. So over the window and one down there like that with your uh, warped fence. With your warped fence, we're just gonna put that on the end here and also on the end here like that. Now with your grindstone, you're probably wondering why we got a grindstone. Well, of course it's a wheel and that's gonna go just where we've got the mast right behind it. Now, of course, because it's uh, on a 45 degree angle, we haven't got that. So put it on either way around, it doesn't matter. And then for your uh, kind of mast, we're gonna put a composter on top of those. And then finally, with your oak trapdoor, put that over the gaps that we've got like this and get rid of those extra blocks that I had to put in there. But that's what we want. So you can get into the hold there like that. On to layer number six, grab yourself a spruce slab. What we're going to do is we're going to have that right on top of your front layer here. Then we're going to go forwards and also up. Okay. And we're going to make that a four block. So you've got a slab, then you've got a block there. Then what we're going to do is we're going to go forwards and up as well to make a full block there like that. Now with your crimson slab, we're gonna have that on the lower slab of the block that you've got in there, that mm, like full full block, not a slab kind of like block there. Okay, and that's gonna finish up the bowsprit. Now with your smooth quartz slab, what we're gonna do is we're gonna have that facing towards that spruce slab like this. So you can see through on either side of that one there like that. And then with your smooth quartz slab now, we're going to have that on top of your stair that we were placing right there just to finish up that nice smooth way up. On to the back now, what we're going to do is where we've got that stair there, we're going to have a slab. Then the next one is going to be a slab. Now what we're going to do is we're going to have an upside down stair right here. Okay, so it's going to be facing in like that. So we get a slab there and a slab there as well, just like that. And then with your slab still, we're going to have that in the middle. And then we're going to have one on top like that. Technically, that goes into layer number seven. But we're not going to worry about that because it's only one block. And then on top of your warped uh, fence that we've got here, we're going to put the crimson slab on top there to finish up that cabin section. But that is it, guys, for the layer part of this tutorial. So we're now going to get on to the masts. On to the masts. Now what we're going to do is we're going to need a couple blocks, of course. So you're going to need a composter. You're going to need stripped oak wood spruce pressure plate that's going to be to cover up this little one uh, we're also going to need a granite wall oak fence and spruce slab okay so grab those and then first what we're going to do is finish up the bowsprit that's the one right in the front so we've got three of them we're going to need six in total so just come forwards have a slab make that into a full block then go forwards have a slab make that into a full block and do it a third and final time so where you've got six of those in total like that then for the front mass, what we're going to do is grab yourself your stripped oak wood and you're going to have five of those on top of this composter. One, two, three, four, five. And then a composter on top of that. Now come forwards with a composter just diagonal from that one. And then we're going to have six blocks on top. So one, two, three, four, five, and six like that. Now with your spruce pressure plate, just put that on top of the composter to cover that up. Now grab yourself a granite wall. We're going to have one on top of that one and then two oak fences on top of that. For the backmost mass, grab your stripped oak wood yet again. I'm going to have seven on top. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then with a composter, place that on top. Diagonal again and forwards. We're going to have another composter, okay? 
Then on top of this one, we're going to have seven blocks. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Then we're going to have a granite wall and then two oak fence blocks. And then with a spruce pressure plate, place that on top of that to just uh, block that one all up. Now with your oak fence, what we're going to do is from the bowsprit, we're going to have one on top. Now we're going to go diagonal and up. Okay, so you're going to need to step out and go to the side. And we're going to be to here. Okay, we're going to drop those extra blocks they put in or extra fences. I'm going to make this go all the way to the top. Until you get to this point here like that. Now we're going to do the same thing as well, just to join these two mass together. So where you've got the granite wall from the front one, we're going to have just that one as diagonal from that. And we're going to do the same thing. So just up and diagonal. Until we get that. Now we're onto the shrouds, which are the ropes that go from the side and add stability to the main mast. Now, depending on which side you want the sail will depend on which side you want the shrouds. For me, I'm going to have the exact same as I've got here, where I've got the sails on the right hand side of the ship. And therefore, my shrouds are going to be on the left hand side. We'll get started with the front now. So grab yourself your spruce slab and where we've got this set of two here, that's where we're going to have two upper slabs just on that colored layer there like that. Then with your birch fence, we're going to have a total of two on these, and then we're going to have two on top of that. Then we're going to connect in two behind, one and two like that. Right at the front now, we're going to have one on top and one to the side there like that. Then add three just on top of that one. One, two, three. So that's right on the one that's closest to the mast. Now what we're going to do is three of these ones are going to be connecting to the mast themselves. So one, two, and three like that. And now finally, we're going to have four going up one, two, three, and four like that. Now you can also add it on the other side as well. But what you will find is that you end up hitting into the actual sail as you're making your way up. But uh, totally up to you guys if you want to do that and connect it in. And then onto the back where we've got that crimson slab, we're just going to go forwards, we're gonna have two spruce slabs here on the upper like that. Now on each of these, we're going to go up with two of your fences. So one and two, connect them together. For the backmost one, we're going to have one more on top of the one there. On the middle one, we're going to go up with three, one, two, and then three. We're going to connect one in towards the mast like that. Then this one's going to be three high, two and three. Then connect one on the back there like that. And what we're going to do is this is going to be six high in total. So we're just going to add five more fence pieces. One, two, three, four, five, and six like that. And again, guys, if you want to do it on the other side, you can do. Back onto the masts now. What we're going to do first is we're going to need a spruce slab and then a spruce stair. So right here on the frontmost one, we're going to be up and we're going to have one slab on the side here. I'm also going to go diagonal with a slab there. Next, we're going to go up and we're going to have a total of three diagonal slabs. Okay, so two and three. So you've just got these two lower, these three a little bit higher like that. Now with your spruce stair, we're going to leave three of these. I'm going to go to the fourth. So one, two, three, four. And depending on which angle you want this to be at, or depending on which way you put the stairs. So for me, I had my stairs going this way because I'm more likely to look at the ship that way. But you could also have it where they are going the opposite direction, okay? And it depends on which angle you're more likely to see the ship from. And of course, it's diagonal, so that's why. And all we're going to do from here is we're going to come forwards and down. So I'm going to use blocks to actually place these down. We're just going to have that one there. Then we're going to have three going the other way for the back. So we're going to have one there one there and then one there and then just put in your stairs like this just found this is the easiest way is blocks to get that so you get a run of five in total from that one and onto the backmost mast grab yourself your spruce slab what we're going to do is we're going to be one and two and then we're going to be on the upper piece of this one so we're going to have a slab there slab there come forwards with a slab and that does mean it looks like it's all joined into this one big thing but you can't tell once you get the sails in i'm going to add one more on the back here of this one now we're going to go up and we're going to have another run of four. Okay, so one, two, three, and four like that. Just the same as we've got there. So we've got one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four like that. Again, come to the top here and we're going to go one, two, three, four. And that's where we're going to have our stair. So that's on the fourth one. So leave three. 
It's going to come forwards once, just like the other one did. Right to there. And in total, this one is going to be seven. So one, two. That's what we're going to end up having seven in total. Again, use the block trick. It will make things a lot easier. And now we are on to the sails, which unfortunately, guys, for you that are playing on survival is the most difficult bit for you because the only way I can do these is organically. So the first thing we're going to do is just grab any block. Now, I've got mine here where we've got uh, actually this mushroom on top and then bone on the bottom. I've actually flipped that around and that's what we're going to be doing. But um, yeah, I'm going to be using some wool first just to get the rough shape and then we can do the shading. So right from the top of these, we're just going to bring these all the way down like this. And the same with the ones going all the way up as well. And you might end up with something that looks a little bit like this. Now, ignoring those two there, with the ones on the end that don't really fit anywhere, just bring up some like that so you get kind of a bit of a curve going on there. And it's the same with the front as well. If you have one like this, just have it come down a little bit and that will then get you started. Now, of course, because our sails are so close to each other, we need to create some kind of area, some gaps between the two. So we're going to just cut off down the bottom here like this in particular, and that will at least give us some space. Now, next thing up, we're going to do the front one first. We're going to have some extra bulk in it. We want to make it look like the wind is pushing this out. So we're going to add in a couple extra blocks here, knock out some here as well, add in some more Have that going down. What we can also do is push this back. Of course, we've got that space to be able to do that. So we can push some of these back. That will help with our, our kind of clashing that we've got at the minute that's going on between the two sails. There we go. We can knock that all the way back there. We might have something that looks like this, quite boxy and uh, at the minute not great. But what we can do, of course, is use this as the nice base to build on. So we can kind of pinch that one back there, for example. That one there, push that one there. I might even push this block right here back like that. That looks a little bit better, doesn't it? And also don't be afraid to come out a little bit more, actually, because, of course, we have got this extra space at the front in particular. So we can do some extra stuff here where we can have, you know, this kind of coming out a little bit, maybe that even coming out to that point. That looks a little bit silly. Let's put that back to there, perhaps like that. That'll do for now. Right. So on to the back one, same kind of thing. We need to add some bulk in. So let's just whack this in the middle here. And then we're going to add in some more around here, for example. And we do the same there. And we're also going to push back this front bit so that it doesn't touch this as much. Okay. So just push that back there. We can still have a little bit of it sticking out. It's just that we don't want as much at all. So maybe we, in fact, we end up having this perhaps even a little bit higher up this time. There we go. Now we can push these back as well down the bottom, uh, though we can't go all the way because of the mast. But we can do the similar kind of thing, a kind of very similar kind of thing on the back parts of these. And in fact, we can go behind this if we do that, which kind of helps quite a bit. So we go, we end up getting something like this. And then we can add in even more of this being pushed out all the way up. And the same here, we can push these ones out. Now let's start cutting down this. We're going to cut this one down a little bit there. And cut that one back there. And now we can push these out. After a bit of playing around, you might have something that looks kind of like this, where we can see this kind of strong part here, but we do need to kind of make that a little bit more uh, better, really. And it might be that actually pushing some of these back will help with that. And there we go, it does. It just stops that kind of big chunk going down the middle. Um, but yeah, guys, it is organic. It is kind of something that you just end up playing around with until you are happy with the design. And it might be like this bit here. I'd end up pushing back perhaps even further to here and then putting just an extra block behind all of that uh, and that might also help now for the texturing part of this it's really nice and easy what I ended up doing is having bone block and also a mushroom stem as well so I use the mushroom stem as kind of like a dirty block and then the bone block is kind of like this cleaner block and this one's got it the other way around but uh, my newer ones had this at the bottom so we'd put in mushroom stems right at the bottom like this 
Um, now, because I've got a now because I've got a mod called World Edit, I'm actually going to use that to do some painting. So in this case, I can use something called Tool, and I can use Repl, and I can switch that to Mushroom Block, which is exactly what we want. There we go, Mushroom Stem even. And what that is going to do is allow me to right click and that will just replace the block. Now what we want to do is have it a little bit going up and down. Of course guys, if you have to do this manually, it's not a problem. It'll just take you a little bit more time to do. But the same technique is being used, which is, you know, try and get your, uh, it to be a little bit more randomized and kind of have some bits going up, some bits going down, those kind of things like that. Same thing on this side as well. I'm seeing lots of uh, kind of like very square blocks like this in here at the minute. Okay, just adding in that seems to help a little bit. Um, but same kind of method, okay? So you just go through and you're just painting and you're just adding in extra blocks here like that. And the same thing is for the bone block. We're just going to paint this straight on and just have that going on. Now, you don't have to use the bone block. You can use, you know, white quartz or something else. Um, you can go with colored sails, of course, and you don't even have to do a gradient at all if you want to go with the old traditional white wool kind of thing going on there. But uh, yeah, we're just going to color all this in. But there you have it, guys. Nice little schooner at a 45 degree angle, full with sails and all. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed this tutorial. If you have, make sure to comment, like, and subscribe. If you guys really enjoy my content, please do support me on Patreon. Without you guys supporting me on Patreon, I wouldn't be here to make these videos. But thanks for watching. I'll see you on the next one.